Trump beat Haley in South Carolina by a 20 point margin, and there's no way to sugarcoat it. Losing in your home state is devastating. In yeah. 2016, you had John Kasich and Ted Cruz win their home states. Marco Rub win their home states, but Marco mm -hmm. Rubio lost and got out. What were your takeaways, and what is Haley's next move? Do you think? I I'll tell you, there's a one. The most remarkable number to me in the exit poll was 77 percent. That was the percentage of folks who said they had made up their mind about who they were going to support mm. um, before the start of this calendar year. So it meant only third, and, 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 and Trump won 70 percent of those folks. So you, you only have essentially one in four Republican voters, because the South Carolina Republican electorate, I think, is, a, is, is closer to being a microcosm of sort of a generic Republican electorate than anything we've, we've experienced so far. This yeah. is probably the most traditional so far. So it will, it will be semi-replicated, I think, through Super Tuesday. So what we're seeing here is Nikki Haley's trying to have this conversation about, are you sure you want to do this? And what about this? What about For the last two months, she's been trying to have this conversation. It turns out only one in four Republican voters are even listening to this conversation. Mm -hmm. So I think we have an idea of how Super Tuesday is going to go. Yeah. It's going to split pretty much like this. Will she do better in Virginia than South Carolina? Sure. And in Vermont? In Maine? Possibly. Maybe in Massachusetts. But it's probably, I think we, we, yeah. we know the contours of this divide inside the Republican Party. It's a divided party. It's just not evenly divided. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.